What is crop? You must have got a chance to travel by train in your life. What do you observe through windows? River Mountains Big poles Big buildings And cattle grazing in the big fields Yes, fields where you see sometimes grains like wheat or rice and sometimes sunflowers and somewhere mustard. What is crop? When plants of the same kind are grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale, it is called crop. For example, a crop of wheat means that all the plants grown in a field are that of wheat. Cropping patterns On the basis of season in which the crops are grown, two broad cropping patterns are identified. They are Kharif crops, Rabi crops. The crop which are sown in the rainy season from June to September are called Kharif crops. And a few examples are Paddy, Maize, Soya bean, Groundnut, Cotton. The crops grown in the winter season, that is from October to March, are called Rabi crops. And a few examples are wheat, jowar, tea, and mustard. Different pulses vegetables are grown during different seasons including summer. Agricultural Practices Cultivation of crops involves several activities undertaken by farmers over a period of time and they are known as agricultural practices. These activities are preparation of soil, sowing, adding manure and fertilizers, irrigation, protecting from weeds, harvesting, and storage. Preparation of soil. First step before growing a soil is to turn the soil and loosen it. The process of loosening and turning of the soil is called tilling or plowing. This is done by using a plow. Now the question arises, what is the need of turning the soil? Soil contains minerals, air and some living organisms. Dead plants and animals get decomposed by soil organisms and various nutrients held in the dead organism are released back into the soil. These nutrients are again absorbed by plants. 
since only a few centimeters of the top layer of soil supports plant growth, turning and loosening of soil brings the nutrients rich soil to the top so that the plants can use these nutrients. When the soil is observed, it allows the roots to penetrate deep into the soil, allows the roots to breathe easily, helps in the growth of earthworms and microbes present in soil which further turn and loosen the soil and add humus to it. To prepare the soil, the soil is watered if it's dry, the field is ploughed, crumbs, the big pieces of soil are broken with plank, the soil is leveled with the help of leveller, the soil is watered. Sometimes manure is added to the soil before tilling for proper mixing. Sowing Once the soil is ready, the next step is to sow seeds in soil. Before sowing seeds, the selection of seeds is done selection of good seeds. For this, the seeds are put in the water. Damaged seeds become hollow and become lighter, hence float on water. Such seeds are rejected and the seeds which are good quality seeds are sowed into the soil. Sowing of seeds at appropriate depths and distances gives good fields. The seeds are sown at appropriate distance to avoid overcrowding of plants. This allows plants to get sufficient sunlight, nutrients and water from the soil. Adding manure and fertilizers. Soil supplies minerals and nutrients to the crop which are essential for the growth of plants. Continuous growing of crops makes the soil poorer in certain nutrients. Replenishment and enrichment of the soil is done by adding some substances in the form of nutrients. They are manure and fertilizers. What is manure? Manure is an organic substance obtained from the decomposition of plants and animal waste. How is manure prepared? Farmers dump plant and animal waste in pits at open places and allow it to decompose. The decomposition is caused by microorganisms and their decomposed matter is used as organic manure. What are fertilizers? Fertilizers are chemical substances which are rich in a particular nutrient. Some examples are urea, ammonium sulfate, superphosphate, potash, and NPK. How are the fertilizers produced?
fertilizers are chemicals and are produced in factories. Let us list the differences between fertilizers and manure. Fertilizer A fertilizer is an inorganic salt. Manure Manure is a natural substance obtained by the decomposition of cattle dung, human waste and plant residues. A fertilizer is prepared in factories. Manure can be prepared in the fields. A fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil. Manure provides a lot of humus to the soil. Fertilizers are very rich in plant nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrients. Advantages of Manure it enhances the water holding capacity of the soil. It makes the soil porous due to which exchange of gases becomes easy. It increases the number of friendly microbes. It improves the texture of the soil. Is there any other method to replenish the soil? Yes. One such method is called crop rotation. Crop rotation means growing different crops alternatively. For example, growing legumes as a fodder in one season and wheat in the next season. Irrigation Water is important for proper growth and development of flower, fruits and seeds of plants. Water is essential for germination of seeds transportation of nutrients protection of crop from frost and hot air currents supply of water to crops at appropriate intervals is called irrigation the sources of irrigation are wells, tube wells, ponds, lakes, rivers, dams, and canals. How is irrigation done? Irrigation is done either using traditional methods or using modern methods of irrigation. The water available in wells, lakes and canals is lifted up by moat chain pump, dhakeli and rahat. Modern methods being used are sprinkler system and drip system. Let us know about the modern methods of irrigation. Sprinkler system this system is used on an uneven land. 
where sufficient water is not available. Design and working of sprinkler system. The perpendicular pipes have rotating nozzles on top and are joined to the main pipeline at regular intervals. When water is allowed to flow through the main pipe under pressure with the help of a pump, it escapes from the rotating nozzles. Water gets sprinkled on the crop as if it is raining. Drip system It is a good technique for watering fruit plants, gardens and trees and water is not wasted. This is a boon in regions where availability of water is poor. Working of drip system Water falls drop by drop at the position of the roots. Protecting from weeds The undesirable plants grown naturally along with the crop are called weeds. The removal of weeds is called weeding. Why is weeding important? Weeding is necessary because weeds compete with the crop plants for water, nutrients, space and light. Weeds affect the growth of the crop. Some weeds are poisonous for animals and human beings. Some weeds interfere in harvesting. The best time for the removal of weeds is before they produce flowers and seeds. Farmers adopt many ways to remove weeds and control their growth. The manual removal of weeds by uprooting or cutting them close to the ground from time to time with kurpi or seed drill. Weeds are controlled by using chemicals known as weedicides such as 2,4-0 Use of Weedicides The weedicides are diluted with water and sprayed in the field with a sprayer. The weedicides are sprayed during the vegetative growth of weeds before flowering and seed formation. Precautions are Using weedicides and spraying of weedicides may affect the health of farmers. So, they should cover their nose and mouth with a piece of cloth during spraying of the chemicals. Harvesting and storage Harvesting the cutting of crop after it is mature is called harvesting. Crops are pulled out or cut close to the ground. Harvesting is done manually by sickle or by machine like harvester by using combine. Combine is a combined harvester and thresher. Thresher is a machine used to separate grain seeds from chaff and the process is known as threshing. Now let us learn about the next task that is storage. If the crop grains are to be kept for a longer time, they should be stored 
safe from moisture, insects, rats, and microorganisms. Grains are properly dried in the sun to reduce the moisture in them. The grains are kept in jute bags or metallic bins and are stored in silos or granaries to protect them from pests like rats and insects. Specific chemical treatment is also provided to protect the grains from pests and microorganisms. Agricultural implements and tools Plow Plow is used for tilling the soil, adding fertilizers, removing of weeds, scraping of soil. The plow is made of wood and is drawn by a pair of bulls or horses or camels. It contains triangular iron strip called the plowshare. The main part of the plow is a long log of wood which is called the plow shaft. There is a handle at one end of the shaft. The other end is attached to a beam which is placed on the bull's neck. Ho has a long rod made of wood or iron. A strong, broad plate of iron is fixed to one of its ends and works like a blade. Cultivator Cultivator is used to plow the field. Traditional tools used for sowing seeds. It is shaped like a funnel. Seeds are filled into the funnel, paned down through two or three pipes having sharp ends. These ends pierce into the soil and place seeds there. Seed drill. Seed drill sows the seeds uniformly at proper distances and proper depths. It ensures that seeds get covered by soil after sowing and it prevents damage caused by birds. It also saves time and labor. Animal Husbandry Like plants, animals also provide us with different kind of food. Rearing of animals on a large scale for use is called animal husbandry. Such as rearing of fish, which is good for health and its oil is rich in vitamin D.